Hello? Are you ready, baby? Yeah, can you see me? I can. Just get in the middle a little bit. Oh, your your yeah, face baby. is shaped up. You just got to shape up, huh? I was ready. You ready? <laughs> okay, what's yeah. your name, boo? Rainier. Rainier. Rainier, where you calling me from, love? Um, Fort Lauderdale, Florida. Fort Lauderdale, Florida. How old are you, baby? 36. 36. What you do for a living? Property management. Do you have any children? No. No. What's your zodiac sign? Aquarius. Aquarius. Excuse me. This is Renair, Fort Lauderdale, Florida, 36, Aquarius. Property management, no kids. What are you looking for tonight? I'm looking for a woman. Well, today. You said <laughs> looking for a woman tonight. today? No, you said tonight. But it's no, you're right. Okay. You looking for a woman every day? Yes. Okay. What kind of woman are you looking for, babe? Um, um definitely has to be melanated. Melanated. For okay. a start, yeah, definitely has to be melanated. Um, uh, she doesn't have to be. I don't know. She has to be melanated. She has to be fit, particularly. Well, she doesn't have to be fit like six packs or anything like that, but. She has to be health conscious. So she has to have some level of, you know, going to the gym two or three times a week. Um, Cause that's where I'm at right now. Like health and fitness is something that I strive for. So she would have to match that when it comes to health and fitness. Okay, what are your deal breakers? Um, kids. kids. <laughs> yeah, kids, I don't have any kids. So I would prefer to deal with someone that doesn't have kids. Because if I want to get to the point where I want kids, I want it to be my first time. And I want it to be our first experience together. I don't want to, you know, go into a situation where I have to get to know her and I have to get to know her kids. I feel like that's too much when you're trying to get to know somebody as a person when they have other baggages or other things that they have to deal with. So preferably someone with no kids. So women with no kids, any other deal breakers? Um, no, be melanated, I guess. <laughs> okay, so I've be a black did. woman. Yeah, have never... no kids. Um, does she have to be in Fort Lauderdale? I would prefer that she be in the tri county area. So, Fort Lauderdale, Miami, West Palm Beach. Um, I'm open to dating outside of Florida. I've never been outside of Florida, like any other state besides Florida. So, I would prefer to date with. Within Fort Lauderdale, but I'm open to dating outside of Fort Lauderdale too. Okay. Would you relocate or would she have to relocate if it got serious? Um, I'm willing to relocate. I mean, I'm tired of Florida. So if I have the option to be somewhere else and start another life somewhere else, then I'll I would definitely take it if it's worth it. Okay. Okay. Um, does she I know you said she has to be black. Does she have to look a certain type of way though? Um, um no. Um, I want the, I like shorter girls. So if she's like five, 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 six, that's fine. Um, six, one or above, I probably can't really do that. How tall are you? Six, one. Oh, you're six, one. Yeah. So nobody taller than you. Yeah. Okay. Renee, don't be, I, ho I hope this is an offensive question. So I apologize if it is in advance. Uh -huh. Are you bisexual? No. Okay. Uh -huh. That was something that the cousins were saying in the comments. And I'm going to be honest, I wasn't sure in the beginning, but we got that clear. So now we're all good. Okay. All right. Does a woman have to make a certain amount of money? No, 50K or better is fine. That's around what I'm making as a property management. Anything under 50 is not probably going to work. Okay. Nothing less than 50. All right, let's do the Kendra cam. <laughs> You're six uh, one. Yeah. Okay, you got you definitely meet the hype. Baby, we can't see your face. <laughs> see? Okay, we can, we got you. <laughs> we can see you. We can see you. Okay. Uh, Renee, when was your last relationship, honey? Um I've not really uh, I haven't had a regular relationship. Always situationships. So what? for some reason. 
Uh, it's not commitment issues. I have issues connecting with people on a emotional level. So you're the reason why you have situationships and not relationships? Yeah. And, and you said you have issues with what again? Connecting on an emotional level. So are you, have you fixed that? Or are you still dealing with that? Uh, I'm still working on that. It's just, I'm still working on that. So how are you going to have a baby with if you don't connect with her on an emotional level? I mean, you can have a baby without being emotional. So you want to have a baby with no commitment? No, 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 it's not, I'm not, it's not, I don't have a problem with commitment. I have a problem with being emotionally attached to people in general. I don't really understand sense. this. So you don't care too much? It will come, no, I really do care. <laughs> it just, for me, it's hard to sympathize and empathize with people emotionally. Like, I can, I can come off as, like, laid back, uncaring, nonchalant, but at the same time, I want to be in love. I want to love somebody, but it's hard for me to establish that connection because I have an issue with being disappointed. So I just try not to get my heart involved with people because people tend to be, at the end of the day, people tend to, tend to disappoint you. So I try not to invest that much into people unless I know it's real. It's interesting. I definitely have heard women say this, like protected with their hearts. Um, I haven't heard too many men talk about it. So it's just, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm listening to you. I, I never knew that because, you know, most because most of the times, we be, I feel like there's so many women who want to settle down, right? Yeah. So it's really about finding a man that wants to settle down as well. Um, but you're saying, so have you been hurt in the past? Is that why you're protective of your heart? Uh, I wouldn't, no. I haven't been hurt in the past. It's, it's just, like, growing up, I was just, like, I had an issue with depression. So younger childhood depression, teen depression, and I got over that in my late twenties. So it's hard for me to establish connections with people since I've always been a loner. That's the problem. Okay. 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 Are you still in therapy for that? Um, no. No. No, no. Okay. Okay. So but you want a child. Is that important to you? Oh, no. Not important to you. No. Okay. So you're not in therapy. So how do you? So how are you gonna get past this to connect with a woman? I can get past it. I can connect. It's just being serious about connecting. That's the problem. Like I could be. I could. I could start talking to someone. We're connecting, and then when I realize it's getting serious, I ghost them. So when they get serious, you ghost them. Yeah. So what I'm saying is, how are you going to prevent that from happening again? That's something I'm always working on. That's deep, because the moment when it's supposed to go to the next level, you're saying you're probably I, going to leave the relationship. Yeah. I, well, trust, usually it doesn't get to the point where it's a relationship. I mean, when it gets to the point where okay, she wants to take it to the next step. Like, are we boyfriend and girlfriend? Or are we, are we going to be serious? I tend to fall back on that. So when was your last girlfriend? My last girlfriend was two years ago. Oh, okay. How long was that relationship? Uh, six months. Okay. And, and why did it end after six months? I sort of fell back and ghosted her. Why? Because we was getting too serious. So what is, okay, so I still stand. How could a woman who might be interested in meeting you, what would be her assurance that you're not going to do that to her? That's a good question. I never really thought about that. Um, well, it's just my type. It wouldn't be an issue. What I'm, usually, usually the girls that come to me are, they're usually, I don't want to say overweight or obese, but they're usually overweight. They're usually a different nationality or they're just, just really not my type. Does that make sense? Okay. 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 Okay
makes any so sense. You've never dated so I've never had that's your type. No, I've never dated a woman that's my that's not that's my type. Well, why that's is that? They're not attracted to me. Okay. Okay. You got a day who wants to date you. I do believe in that. All right. So let me ask this. What is your longest? You're 36. What's the longest term relationship you've ever had? That would probably be in high school, about a year. So the longest relationship you ever had was in high school. High school, you're 36 years old. Yeah. So you never never had a committed relationship in your adulthood past six months no it's usually just sex or we're just you know talking but nothing committed i ain't no therapist so let me say there i i'm not even a dating coach i'm a journalist that created a dating show you're gonna need to talk to someone to get over that if you want something if, if your desire is to have something long term that goes past six months because it's a deeper issue and you did mention you went through some things from childhood with depression you don't got to share what happened or, or what was going on but i mean it's i feel like it's blocking you from having a long-term commitment if you don't do the work to unravel it yeah okay so what are your three flaws well you told me six months ago was your last relationship right no 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 not six Six months ago. This two years my last ago. Year. Yeah, yeah, two it's years ago. Six months last, ago was last time you was intimate. No, no, no. Last time I was intimate was a, a year ago, September. So you haven't been intimate in a year? Yeah. This Are month you will make a year. For, say again, honey? This month will make a year. Are you Are you waiting for a relationship? Hell no, no. Then why do you think you haven't had sex in a year? Chose not to. Huh? chose not to you chose not to you chose not to. yeah okay um what are three flaws you have to work on Renee? wow we just went through a list of them <laughs> yeah we did i'm gonna give you one you don't gotta name all of them but you definitely have an issue with connecting with people yeah um and, and so that's that that's one flaw we probably did go over all you probably did name three flaws yeah wow. so it's an issue connecting with people emotionally on an emotional level so I can come off as uncaring, nonchalant, unbothered. Um, I procrastinate a lot. That usually uh, the biggest thing that everyone says on here, procrastinating. Um, and I guess my biggest flaw would be me getting in the way of myself because I don't allow myself to love somebody as much as they would love me. Yeah. So it's hard for me to reciprocate the love people show me. And um, what's the age range you would date? You're 36. Um, 36, I would date anywhere from 28 to 38. Okay. And why would a woman be lucky to be with you? <laughs> After all that, it doesn't sound like anyone would be lucky to be with me, but um, I'm really a caring person. Hold on. Sorry, someone was calling me. But I'm really a caring person. At heart, I am a humanitarian, so I will give as much as I can possibly give. But at the end of the day, I feel like I'll probably never get none of that back or, or a fraction of how much I put forth into somebody. So that's probably one of the reasons why I try not to get attached to people because I feel like people would disappoint me at the end of the day. So I try to avoid that feeling of being disappointed by not being involved with people. But at the end of the day, anyone that gets past that, I'm loyal, I'm committed. I mean, I'm not out here for the streets, like a bunch of niggas having kids and stuff like that. So I'm a genuine person and I truly capable of loving somebody. It's just meeting that right person is the problem. Meeting that right person. Okay, let's do it. It's Renee for a lot of Del Florida, 36 Aquarius. Property manager, no kids. All right, babe, how could the woman reach out to you, honey? Um, Facebook, um, my full name, Rainier, last name, C-O-L-L-I-S, or Instagram, which is R-A-I dot C-O-L. C-O-L. All right, but well, listen, I'm wishing you the best of luck, honey. All right, appreciate it. Thank Bye. you.